Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Data Cloud Now's live coverage of Snowflake Summit in Las Vegas, the world's largest data and AI conference. I'm now joined by Moda Chada, Global Head of Infrastructure Technology Partnerships at AWS, along with Colleen Capsa, Senior Vice President of Worldwide Partner and Alliances at Snowflake. Such a pleasure to have you both yes. back on Data Cloud Now. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> it is so great to be here. Back again, a year later, Super, super um, excited about it. You know, Mona, Summit is in full effect. Yes, the it buzz, is. the energy is here. Let's start off with the topic that is top of mind oh, for yeah. everyone present at Summit right now Gen AI and LLMs. What are you hearing, and why are you two so bullish on data collaboration? Mona, if you'd like to start. Yeah, that sounds great. I mean, I'll just say this every single conversation that we have had today with ISVs, global you know, uh, system integrators, even with ourselves, has been all about Gen AI. It's like the first thing that out of the gate. Um, and I will say that, you know, from an Amazon perspective, you know, we've been embedding AI into like real life experiences, right? So, you know, some examples are like Alexa, for example, has embedded AI right. in, into it. Um, we also have the Amazon Go stores, right? The cashless registers, the like, you know, no, no checkout line, you just run, <laughs> go right through it. Right, so we've always sort of embedded, even the Amazon Prime Air drones also have embedded AI into it. So, you know, we've always sort of looked at AI as something that should be powering our real life experiences. And now what we've done is, um, as we sort of talk more about Gen AI, we want to also embed that into our AWS services. And so as part of that, one of the things that AWS is doing is, you know, kind of trying to democratize all of these like large language models that you see, right? So we have our own um, LLM with the Amazon Titan. We also have third party um, LLMs such as, um, you know, Anthropic. So these are startups, right? That um, have been, you know, investing in this area for some time as well. So Anthropic is an example, uh, as well as um, A121 Labs. Um, and Stability AI. So now customers have a choice and they can run their LLMs um, in Amazon Bedrock. So that's kind of what we've done in order to you know, really help, like I said, democratize the use right, of, um, of our models. The, uh, the, uh, of like our models as well as third party models. I think the other key thing to sort of you note know, is that you, know, you need to be able to run it on infrastructure in a cost effective, secure way. So one of the other areas that we've been investing in are actually our GPUs, right, are our instance sizes. So uh, those include uh, Inferentia and Trainium. So, you know, we kind of been making these investments so that again, it's just easy for customers to run LLMs. Um, and then, you know, in terms of integration with Snowflake, you can run those with um, Snowflake external functions as well with Amazon Bedrock. So a lot of really cool things that are happening and then just obviously all the cool stuff that's happening uh, here on the floor, yeah. You know, Colleen, from Snowflake's perspective, would love to hear your thoughts. Uh, I, I'll tell you what, being a partner data person, it's like the best it's place the best to place. be right now because all the partnerships that Mona's talking about, many of them we're leaning into as yeah. well, obviously with NVIDIA and the GPUs in tandem yeah. with AWS, working with some of those large language model organizations. Yeah. Um, it's just, you're finding the, the power of us together as an yeah. ecosystem continues to rise because this innovation is moving so right. fast. Like we haven't exactly. seen it move this fast. We move fast as an industry. <laughs> so to say it's moving fast, that's yeah. meaningful. Um, look, we are we are all in on on AWS. We're very much involved with Bedrock. You know, the customers. Spoiler want, alert! Yeah, <laughs> you're in here first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're excited about that. Yeah, we've, exactly. We've, we've really awesome. um, the customers. If they look at large language models, but the data that is most important to them t typically is yeah. sitting in Snowflake, housed on Snowflake right. on AWS. So us coming together to make our joint customers more intelligent and more capable and using the capabilities of these trends, that's happening more now than ever before. So, and it's being partner people watching yeah. these relationships. It's no longer just Snowflake or just AWS. It's us together with the power of NVIDIA. It's, 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 it's amazing. It's, it's yeah. fun times. And what's great is that you know, we have all of these joint partnerships that are taking advantage of you know, all of our technologies as well as like LLM. And then, you know, like I said, you know, there's going to be more to come on the integration with 
with um, Snowflake and Amazon Bedrock that we're super excited about. Yes. Looking forward to seeing how that plays out yes. over the coming months to years. You know, some exciting news. Snowflake and AWS recently announced a multi-year partnership expansion. What's top of mind for both of you as you look to tackle the second half of 2023? Colleen, would love to hear your thoughts. Yeah, we've had some announcements this week, which is pretty exciting. Um, Snow Park containers, um, and that's just an easy way for applications to, from an architecture standpoint, to move into Snowflake from a secure standpoint on AWS. Yeah. It's another like one plus one plus one equals five yeah. uh, example. That's something we're super excited about. It's, it's in private preview, we've actually just announced that. Yep. That's also capable to do that on NVIDIA GPUs together, so yeah. um, that's, we're, I think we're going to see a lot of yeah. more ISVs coming to us together to see how can we work within Snowflake exactly. on AWS and see that grow tremendously. Yeah, yeah. And I think it's exciting, yeah. You, you know, Mona, from your perspective, what's top of mind as you look to tackle the, the tail end of 2023? Yeah, you know, we talked about Gen AI and there's a lot of stuff that we're doing there, but even beyond Gen AI, we're actually doing a lot even in the ML space. So one of the things that we've been working on is um, an integration um, that we already have with Amazon SageMaker Wrangler, our data Wrangler, with Snowflake. Wow. So, you know, it's a direct connection uh, with Snowflake and we actually have customers, for example, um, uh, Domino's Pizza Enterprise, which is one of the like largest franchisees wow. outside of the United States, oh. right? And so they're using um, Amazon SageMaker Data Wrangler uh, as a direct connection into Snowflake, and what they're doing is they're actually aggregating the data pre and preparing the data, leveraging Amazon so um, SageMaker um, Studio. And so what that does, it allows them to again, prepare, aggregate the data that is coming from Snowflake, and then gain more business insights. And so that has just been uh, so great to see customers that are leveraging that. Um, so you know, that's just one example. Uh, another example is um, what we're doing further in industries, um, where we actually launched the, right, uh, there was an announcement with the industry um, data fabric. What that's doing is it's helping um, uh, uh, like IOT uh, type of environment, so like manuf manufacturing uh, customers that actually have IOT solutions, so you can get your data from your I IOT devices and then aggregate all of that information. And that it helps with like inventory optimization, asset management. So we're like really creating these like real life, you know, um, solutions for customers across different industries. And you're going to start to see that more. I think. Last year, right? We talked about all the you know industry yes. stuff that we're doing, and it's coming into fruition. It's amazing. The difference twelve months makes. I it's mean, huge. I think we now have seven different industry yeah. data clouds across Snowflake. Oh yeah, we've launched all of those with AWS. You guys have been a partner for every yeah. single one of them. That is absolutely huge. Um, most recently, this month, the public sector yeah. industry yeah. data cloud. That's, That's a huge opportunity for us, Ryan. That yeah. we we need to go after as a joint organization. It's, it's all about security, especially with data yeah. when you're working with government entities and organizations. Um, so you're talking about the breadth and reach and elasticity of AWS yeah. with the security and governance um, of Snowflake. It's a great combination. Great. And then the other thing that we're also doing is that as we look at all these different industries, we're also expanding into different regions, right? Like in EMEA and APAC, we talked about like how we're expanding into different industries like retail, uh, manufacturing, healthcare, life sciences. So you're just going to see more to come I, with our partnerships. This is pretty amazing, you know, Ryan, I, I'll I, tell you. I yeah. love it, I can feel yeah. the energy com yes. coming off of you two very yeah. much. You know, Snowflake plus AWS, yeah. you, you know, the power of that partnership. Yeah. You know, we're coming to the, the tail end of the segment, but any other final remarks you'd like to deliver to the audience watching? Colleen, let's start with you. I think what we value about our relationship with AWS, which we've certainly been on a journey together, yeah. is your ability to put customers first. Yeah. You don't just talk that value, you walk that value, and we appreciate that. And your ability to be a platform and embrace the whole technical ecosystem yeah. and leverage these ISVs together. When we look at the native framework and platform for ISVs we just launched recently, bringing those into Snowflake on AWS, yeah. that's just a winning combo. So I think we really appreciate yeah. that. That's, that's what makes AWS and Snowflake's relationship special. Exactly, and as an example of that native framework is Goldman Sachs, right? Where you know they actually launched um, 
uh, their legend solution, right, it's for client access management, um, for, um, so their legend um, solution that's a native application uh, with Snowflake and it runs on AWS. So just a, a pure example yeah. of that yeah, is. Just yeah. numerous examples. Numerous examples. Always. Always a pleasure. Sorry, Mona, if you have any Oh no, I was remarks. just going to say, like, there's that, and then plus, like, I, I, I definitely, before we, you know, end, I just want to also say that there's just this massive opportunity that we're also seeing with GSIs in yeah. this space as well. And so, you know, again, as you start to see us developing more solutions together, we'll start to, it's like one plus one equals five, well now it's like <laughs> one plus, plus, uh, plus one, an additional one with the GSIs. <laughs> Carry right? the four. It's now 10, it's like you know, 10X the solution. They, yeah. they don't give partner people math awards. Yeah, so, they definitely you know. don't give us math awards. <laughs> Clearly exactly. we don't do it quite yeah. right, but we do it in our special way. We do, we do. <laughs> always a pleasure sitting down with Snowflake and AWS. Thank, Thank you, you so much for joining Thank me you, on Colleen. Data Cloud it's now. always a great. Thank you, always Mona, great we appreciate it. Yeah. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud Now. We'll see you soon.